Hi, my name's Josh. I'm a PhD student at the University of Bristol, and I'd like to tell you about my project, Dynamic Surface Properties of Atmospheric Aerosol and Resulting Climate Impacts. To provide background, the IPCC report concludes that aerosols are the largest negative rate to forcing contribution, but present the largest uncertainty in these estimates. Atmospheric aerosols affect the climate either by direct scattering or absorption of solar radiation, as well as indirectly by serving as cloud condensation nuclei, forming cloud droplets. To focus on the surface properties of atmospheric aerosols, most climate models still assume a constant surface tension of aerosols during cloud droplet activation, equivalent to pure water, but this is only an assumption and has not been experimentally verified. And we know that surfactants naturally occur in the atmosphere, causing an impact on surface properties of atmospheric aerosols, such as decreasing surface tension. Consideration of this, as well as a dynamic surface tension, may implicate changes on the cloud condensation nuclei concentrations and radiative forcing estimates. And now the theory behind the experimental approaches. The Kerner equation relates droplet surface tension, size, and the relative humidity required for cloud droplet activation whereas the second equation describes the relationship between surface tension of the droplet and oscillation frequency. Damped oscillations may be observed in droplets upon events such as two droplets coalescing with each other, as observed in the video below. So by determining droplet radius and oscillation frequency, we can then calculate surface tension of droplets, thus the relative humidity required for cloud droplet activation, otherwise known as its critical supersaturation overall helping to determine the fraction of atmospheric aerosol that will serve as cloud condensation nuclei. Here are the experimental methods used to determine oscillation frequency of the droplet species. For the first experimental approach, droplets are nebulized into a chamber, two are optically trapped and then coalesced into one. Elastic backscattered light is detected to evaluate oscillation frequency instigated from the event of coalescence. Raman spectroscopy is coupled with this technique to accurately quantify size and refractive index of the droplet. During the experiment, droplets will exhibit equilibrium surface composition and surface tension. For the second approach, we consider droplets with a fresh surface age. A stream of highly uniformly sized droplets is ejected from a micro droplet dispenser and the droplet oscillation frequency is monitored using stroboscopic imaging with incrementally increasing delay time to form a video, as shown below. This is performed on a sub-millisecond time scale, allowing us to observe dynamic surface tension due to surface bulk partitioning of surfactants. Thus, we are able to study the time scale of this rapid process. Experimental data will be shared with collaborators in order to modify and improve climate modelling estimates, reducing uncertainty in aerosol-related radiative forcing projections. Thank you for listening.